Let me show you two items that every homeowner should have. This is an inspection camera made by Milwaukee. And this is a infrared camera made by FLIR. Now, these two items save you a lot of money down the road if you own your own home. This is the inspection camera. You drill a little hole and you put the uh, camera, that's the actual lens, and you snake that through the wall and it gives you an idea of what's behind the wall. See, here's... You can actually see what I'm, you know, looking at through this LCD screen. But let me tell you what's even more important is this FLIA camera. Let me show you how it saved me money right now. Okay, this camera goes for about 1200 to 1500 bucks, And it's an older model. You could probably get this cheaper right now, maybe for about 400 bucks on eBay. They all work the same. You have to, every once in a while, if you use it a lot, if you knock it around, you got to send it in for calibration. This is about, I'd say, four years old. And I never had to send it in for calibration. I use it for home use. I don't use it for commercial. But let me show you what I found with this camera. This is my bathroom downstairs. I have another bathroom upstairs, right? If you look here, you're going to see some markings. I came in and noticed that, you see that little indent right here? That's, that's plaster and a screw hole. And what happened was, it was really soft. So I said, hey, wait a minute. I think I got water in here. So I went and got my FLIA camera and decided to film where the actual water droplets were. And they put a little hole in there just to drain the water out. But if this would have sat there longer, it would have caused mold and I might have had a mold problem. There's a shower that sits directly above here. And I could tell you it's right over here where the shower uh, elbow is on the drain. So I think it's leaking from there. And if you look where I pencil locked it, looks like the water just dripped down here and then it kind of spread over there. But here's what it looks like through the eyes of a FLIR camera. Let me see if I could. See it? It's hard to focus on this, but right here. That's the leak. Now, if I didn't have this camera, I would have never noticed this leak. So let me go in the shower and I'll show you from inside the shower. The water is just, it's not a bad leak. We use the shower upstairs a lot and um, it's got, it pools, the water pools here, it pools there. I think it starts right here and kind of just rolls around because water travels and then pools here and here. But let me show you what it looks like through a flare. See there's, there's one spot where it pools. There's the spot. You see the hole I drilled? I drilled a hole in there. I made this hole right here. Sorry about the bad camera work. And I, I put the inspection camera in there. And I was able to notice there's no insulation here. So this will dry up. If there was insulation in there, I'd have to break this wall right away to get to it. Like that, I don't have moisture sitting behind the walls and have a mold problem. This is the culprit. And it's leaking water slowly, slowly downstairs. All right, guys, I peeled back the sheetrock. I took the sheetrock off and I started in the area where the drain was. And um, I found water damage from the sheetrock. And remember that little soft part that I said was a uh, was plaster? It was this nipple right here. I guess when they put the sheetrock in, they had a this nipple was touching the sheetrock and the water would drip down this pipe and you can see the water you see the water lines it would drip down this pipe and uh, it would pool in the lowest spot I think they might have I think this was they actually had to push it into the sheetrock so it was about a quarter of an inch below the sheetrock surface you can see all the water damage in here and it's coming out of the other side of the strain right here, and it's coming down this side and pooling, just like the diagram said on the FLIA camera. The other thing that I noticed too is that I have a lead pan up there. So uh, 
I took a shower, well, my wife took a shower and it wasn't leaking. Then I got in the shower and it's leaking. It's, and then I got into the shower again, took another shower and it didn't leak. It's an intermittent problem. So it's definitely not coming out of the drain where it's soldered. They, they kind of weld it and there's, a, there's also, there's also, uh, it looks like there's like uh, waterproofing done at the bottom of that drain too. So it's not coming out of the drain. I think the pan's been compromised and depends how the water hits it is when it leaks. My wife weighs a lot less than I do. I'm 230 pounds, so maybe the little opening where the water's coming out is, is, is opening while I'm on it and not while she's on it. But that's, that's one of the problems. Now I'm gonna post the picture. Here's the picture. And I repaired it. This is the repair I made. It's a temporary repair. See this brass pipe? It's touching this lead elbow bend from the toilet. And what I noticed was it was all oxidized. Right over here. I touched it with my finger and it just crumpled. Sorry about the uh, shaky camera work. But there's a hole here and that's the toilet to my bedroom. So when I flush, the water never really made it out. But now that I touched it with my finger and it crumbled inside the pipe, the lead, um, it comes out. It drips, just drips. So it's, there's no pressure in that. So I took some duct tape and I siliconed around the hole and put a piece of plastic on it. And it's keeping the water at bay. So let me show you now the video that I took after I took a shower and how the water came out of this, uh, this, this drain. My wife took one before me, nothing. I took it, and what ha what it did was it came out of the left side of the strain, ran down here, and it puddled here. Not a lot. It wasn't a lot. But, like I said, in the long term, it would have been a lot of issues. I got BX wire running under the shower. This is like a mess. I had that brass pipe touching. And it looks shiny up there in that pipe, but that's not. That's the glue. The glue is a shiny glue they put on these pipes years ago. Well, thread seal and that glow. I'm gonna make that thicken. Something else. Right before we went on vacation, I noticed the sheetrock was damp. And um, I uh, went ahead and removed the sheetrock to see why it was damp. And I couldn't find any leaks. So I just took a shower. And as you can see, it's not leaking out of the elbow. It's leaking out of the shower pan. The shower pan up there is ruined. Well, there you have it. Thanks for stopping by and uh, taking a look at my little video here. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit like.